Oh, so when I was living in Korea, I was on a student visa. In order to stay in Korea, I had to go to school. I couldn't afford to go to like a real university. So I went to Korean language school where you learn Korean. While I was in Korea, I went to language school to learn the Korean language. And it's really cheap. It's about a thousand dollars for... I think it's like per semester, per semester and there's two semesters a year. So it costs about $2,000 a year. So it's not too expensive. My apartment was $500. And then like... And then yeah, I had to pay like a thousand a semester. And then just learning Korean language. I was able to stay there. Korean is hard though. I have some suggestions. Hold on. If you want to learn Korean... I don't have... I don't have my other Korean books, but I have... So this book right here, it's called Korean Grammar and Use. This book is amazing. There's um, three books actually. So there's there's intermediate and then there's advanced. Or sorry, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. But this book helps so much with learning Korean. You definitely have to know a little bit of the basics before you get into this book because it might be a little bit hard if you don't like read or write Korean. But uh, so you definitely need to learn Hangul first. And then you need to, yeah, pronunci pronunciate. Why can't I speak English? You need to learn how to s pronounce. But yeah, this book is great. Um, this book's really helpful. I went to Korean language school while I was in Korea, so that was like speed running the Korean language. Also, I lived in Korea, which helped a lot. I think I would have learned Korean faster if I watched Korean movies, listened to Korean music, and if I talked more. But I'm pretty shy. I didn't really like, at the time, I didn't really like Korean TV shows. I didn't really like Korean music. <laughs> so when I was living in Korea, I pretty much... And then also I was streaming eight hours a day and speaking English while streaming. So I didn't speak Korean for a long time. I was mostly just speaking English while I was streaming. And then I wasn't listening to a lot of Korean. The only time I'd really listen to Korean was when my... When I would like go to the store or like when my sonsei name would speak Korean, stuff like that. So Korean is the English, the easiest language to learn how to read and write. It takes you, it took me 20 minutes to learn how to read and write Korean. So the alphabet is one of the newest languages, uh, written languages ever created. It's created by King Sejong and uh, before Hangul was created, basically in Korea, only super rich or like royal people knew how to read and write because they would learn, they would actually use like the Chinese letters, you know? So they use like the Chinese, like in Korean, it's called like Hanja. So they would like, they would use the Chinese letters and it took so long to learn how to read and write Chinese. It would take your whole lifetime. King Sejong didn't want that for his people. He wanted everyone in Korea to be able to read and write. So he created the easiest language to learn how to read and write. And it's Hangul. Takes you 20 minutes how to learn. Super easy. So if I was to relearn Korean again, what I would do, this is what I would do. I would, before speaking, I think I would just watch Korean shows. Like, put on subtitles. So once you learn how to read and write Korean, this is what I would do if I was to relearn Korean. Like, if, as long as you know how to read and write Korean, and you know maybe a few hundred Korean words, I would watch tv shows with korean subtitles not english subtitles korean subtitles so just watch as many tv shows as you can listening to korean and then reading the korean subtitles i think that helped me the most another thing that helped me i played pokemon in korean playing pokemon in korean helped a lot because so pokemon in america adults will play pokemon but in korea it's not like that. So the language that they use in Pokemon is like for toddlers. So when you play Pokemon in Korean, as long as you can read and as long as you know like a few hundred words and then you can read and write or you can, yeah, you can read at least. It is really, really, really easy to play Pokemon. And then it really like, cause you're kind of forced in order to beat the game, you're forced to go through it, reading it, if that makes sense. This book is really great. I still keep this book even though I don't like really use it anymore. It's such a good book. Maybe your brain is smart, but I leave my phone in the refrigerator sometimes. I do too. That's why if I can learn something, anyone can. If I can go to South Korea, if I can move myself to South Korea, anybody can do anything. I promise you. Because I'm not special. 
I'm not special. I'm not unique. I'm a basic girl from a Mormon town in Utah. And if I can do anything in my life, I think anyone can do anything. Yeah, those are tips if you're learning Korean. If you guys have any questions, let me know.